crank those graphics up to 11. <laughs> yeah, this game actually has pretty basic uh, like graphic settings you can actually change to try and get the game to run you know, better on whatever type of computer you have. Um, this is Stunt, a game that came out in uh, late 1990. Um, and it was uh, developed by Distinctive Software, um, the developers from Test Drive the early test drive games uh, and this is basically like if you took um, Atari's hard driving and, and mixed it with like the cars from test drive so you know you got like Ferraris and Porsches and Lamborghinis um, there's actually a lot of cars in this game it's pretty cool I love these old primitive 3d graphics um, Honda NSX even <laughs> again very much like what you would expect in a test drive game or, or even an early Need for Speed game, uh, as far as the car selection goes. But then you have like the, the loops and the jumps uh, from hard driving. This game plays a lot better than hard driving, uh, at least like the home ports. Uh, hard driving, hard driving uh, might have you know played better in the arcades. I don't remember. I don't think I ever played it in the arcades. If I did, it was like once when I was like ten. <laughs> I vaguely remember the like the arcade cabinet uh, with like the realistic cockpit or like dashboard. Um, but yeah, this plays a lot better than like the home ports of hard driving which most of them didn't play that well um, this actually plays really really well for an early uh, DOS game um, you know back in the day I had uh, my my 286 and my parents had a 486 um, so obviously this ran fine on the 486 I don't remember how how slow it was on the 286 um, I think this game probably recommended like a 386 I would I would imagine um, but yeah, funny thing is my 286 actually had a Sound Blaster, uh, Sound Blaster Pro, which was um, an 8-bit stereo version of the Sound Blaster. Um, and uh, my parents' 486 didn't have a sound card in it, so it only had the PC speaker. So um, obviously, you know, it was better for some games, and you know, games like Doom obviously wouldn't run on a 286 at all. Um, but, you know, some games were better to play on the 286 with the better sound. Playing this game in DOSBox um, with a Roland MT32 emulator, which is pretty neat. Um, you may have noticed uh, in the intro music, if you go back to the beginning of the video, um, there's like a hanging note <laughs> you can hear in the background of the entire intro music. Um, and I don't know if that was like always there in this game or if that's um, uh, a glitch with the uh, emulation, but. You know, e either way, it's pretty cool that we have, uh, you know, MT32 emulation. <laughs> um, obviously, I didn't own one of those back in the day, but now I can go back and play these DOS games uh, and hear them, uh, you know, better than I've ever heard them before. Yeah, instant replays are pretty cool in this game. I remember wasting a lot of time with these when I was a kid, uh, being fascinated by the, you know, you can change the camera angle and you can even customize the camera and zoom in and out and you know, obviously that was pretty neat at the time. Uh, 
and we have a track creator. We have a, a track editor here, so you can actually make your own tracks. Uh, simple little grid layout uh, here, and you've got access to all the little like sections of track that you can just place down. So it's actually really easy to use. And then obviously you can save those uh, tracks and, and play them in the game. So that's pretty cool. I'll put a link to the uh, track I made if you have this game and you want to give it a try. I'm sure you can easily beat my score in the Lamborghini Countach here. Uh, but if you do, let us know what your uh, what your best time on this track is. Overall, this is a great game. Uh, it was pretty popular back in the day. Um, I know a lot of people that had, um, you know, DOS PCs, um, you know, in the early to mid 90s, they knew what this game was. It was, it was a pretty popular game. Um, but yeah, definitely one I uh, enjoyed playing as a kid. And so I thought I would go back and take a look at it. And yeah, it plays pretty well. Again, it's, it's basically a better playing version of hard driving um, with a really awesome car uh, selection. So stunts, definitely check this one out if you uh, if you haven't.